Good morning everyone, happy Monday and welcome to another What I Eat in a Week video. Um, so again, if you are watching this video first, you've missed two already from the series because uh, this month I'm taking on the I Can Jun challenge with SlimFast, uh, which means I'm doing their 3, 2, 1 plan um, and giving you my honest feedback, an honest review of the plan, see how it fits into my lifestyle, see if I like it, see if it works, etc, etc. So, if you haven't seen my other two videos, head on over there, watch those first and then come back to this one because um, especially the first video in particular because I sit down, I explain the plan, I show you the products, talk about my starting weight, why I want to do it, etc. Um, so it's probably a good idea to start there and then come back to this one because you might be a little bit confused as I'm just going to dive straight in. <laughs> and get on with it. So um, I've been doing it for 12 days now. Today is the 13th day and it's going really, really well. Spoiler alert for the other videos. Um, but I'm just finding it really easy. It's slotting in nicely. So yeah, I'm just gonna see how we get on this week. Uh, see if the motivation stays, which I'm kind of hoping it does because I'm loving it. Um, and we've also got a weekend away. We're actually going to London this weekend for a belated birthday present for me. It was my birthday present last May <laughs> but we're gonna go and see Cirque du Soleil and it's finally come round so yeah we'll see how we navigate that one um and still go out and have a good time even though we're on a diet shock horror can be done so yeah I'm gonna stop talking and just get on with uh what I eat in a week so buckle in for the ride and if you haven't watched the other videos go back and watch those and then come back here okay let's go <laughs> Gym, um, did half an hour on the cross trainer and then some of my glute stretches and exercises feel knackered. I'm gonna tuck into some of these cheddar bites just for a little bit of salt after the gym and drink a lot more water. Although I've been really good with my water today, um, but I'm gonna keep it up. And then I don't know what we're having for tea, we haven't quite figured it out yet, so I'll fill you in once I know. <laughs> Tuesday so I'm actually feeling horrendous today I'm looking even more pale than usual which is saying something I really need a tan um yeah I don't feel well at all today I feel shaky achy I've got a bit of a temperature I just feel a little bit sick I'm just keep going hot and cold so yeah I think I'm coming down with something which is miserable because I am going to London at the weekend and I'm very much looking forward to that um and I just feel like I've been on a bit of a roll and when you feel ill it kind of like makes everything come to a bit of a halt doesn't it and I'm just a bit annoyed about that so um I'm just doing some Pinterest uh studying today <laughs> so I can do that from the sofa thank goodness with the help of Dr Toby who is being incredibly attentive he always seems to know when somebody's not feeling very well so that's really nice um but yeah i haven't actually eaten anything today because i just don't feel like i can stomach it however um i might try a little bowl of slim fast porridge in a bit because they're only tiny and it might help get something in my tummy um that's kind of nice and bland and won't upset anything if it is like a sickness bug oh my god i hope it's not a sickness bug that would be horrendous um so yeah, I just feel rubbish today. That is that is the update that you have. And I will come back to you later if I manage to eat anything. But yeah, sucks. Really, really sucks. But never mind. Quarter past five, and I'm starting to feel a little bit better now, thank goodness. Um, hopefully it was just one of those weird half day cold things where you start to feel like you're coming down with something, but then you start to feel a bit better. Still got a bit of a temperature, but I'm feeling a little bit better in myself, so that's good. Um, I am also getting a little bit hungry, obviously, I've hardly eaten today, so I'm gonna grab, what am I gonna grab? Oh, some crisps, I think. 
I'm gonna have some of the sour cream pretzels because I love those. Um, and Chris is on his way home anyway, so we'll have dinner soon. So we'll just go for that. I don't know what we're having. I'm gonna let him surprise me. Because <laughs> um, he's already said, you just stay under the blanket and I'll cook. I love that man. So um, yeah, Toby is currently enjoying his dinner, which is accidentally spilled on the floor. <laughs> There was no way I was going to pick all those up and put them in his bowl. So he's doing a good job of hoovering. Um, and yeah, it's a good job we're going to be mopping the floor tomorrow morning, isn't it, eh? Is it Wednesday? I think, yeah, Wednesday. Still got that cracking spot right on my cheek just there. Um, yeah, feeling a little bit better today. Still not 100% if I'm completely honest. I feel so tired, like super exhausted, but my temperature's gone down and I just genuinely feel a little bit better. So I haven't had to cancel my nail clients, which is good. They're all on standby. Cause yesterday I was like, I'm really not feeling very well. I'm hungry today. I barely ate anything yesterday. I think I had masaka for dinner um, and then I had one of like the slim fast snacky things, but basically I only did three and one yesterday. I didn't do two. <laughs> I missed out the two meals um because I just really wasn't feeling up to it so today we need to make sure we eat lots of food and get our strength back up um I've got a back-to-back -back day again of nail clients so I've got about half an hour before my first lady comes or my slim fast stuff is like down there um I'm gonna uh, make a shake I think for my brunch <laughs> breakfast slash lunch um, and then I'll probably either grab a ready to go shake in between clients or a bar depending on what I feel like later um, and then a very very late dinner again because I don't finish until about nine but it's all good fun so yes I'll try and film as we go along and keep you informed um, but yeah I feel like this vlog has been a bit of a fail to start off with but that's real life kids sometimes you don't feel very well um, and you just gotta power through, so yeah. Here's to Wednesday. <laughs> Gonna go for my fave mint choc chip for a bit of comfort this morning. Again, um, blended with ice and water this one, and this is one of the vegan um, dairy-free options. So yeah, let's go. that powder just went up my nose um don't forget that you don't need to have a Nutribullet for these things by the way um you just pop them in the shaker and shake them up with water if you're like in the office or on the go or something it's just that I prefer them when they're blended with a little bit of ice and I work from home I've got my blender ready so that's the reason why I always make mine in the Nutribullet but yeah just for reference you can just pop them in a shaker and shake them up or grab one of the ready to drink ones that are all um pre-mixed for you if you feel a little bit weird with a shaker in the office I think I might do so I'd probably just grab one of the pre-made ones um but yeah favorite flavor this chalky one definitely also forgot to mention um we took Toby out for a walk this morning um and it was about half an hour so we just kind of ambled around through the frisbee at ridiculous clock in the morning um it was dark so I didn't take my camera to prove it but uh yeah so I've had a 30 minute walk today and to be honest that's probably the only exercise I'm going to get um because when my lady arrives in 10 minutes I'm back to back until 9 p.m this evening so yeah <clears throat> but at least we got outside and had some fresh air this morning. It was horrible getting up. I hate mornings, um, but we did it. And seeing like Toby's little face running around chasing his frisbee, loving life, makes it all worth it, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it is dark already outside, look, pitch black, oh my God. Um, so it's about half past four. I've just done two very, very back-to-back -back clients, really didn't even have a chance to go for a wee, so I should probably go and do a wee. Um, <laughs> and I've got another one coming in about 20 minutes. So I'm having one of my ready-to-go shakes again. No, what did I have this morning? Oh, I had a mint choc chip blitzed one this morning. 
And I'm going to have a chocolate shake because I just don't fancy a bar. Um, I think I need to investigate some of the different flavours that they have on the meal bars because I love the yoghurt ones. The yoghurt ones are my favourite out of the yoghurt and um, chocolate. But there's a rumour going around that there's a different flavour. So I need to go to Tesco or Asda and investigate those. Oh, by the way, you can buy the products. I know a lot of people have been messaging me on instagram actually saying where can you buy this you can get it in your local supermarket so you can get slim fast in tesco asda like sainsbury's all the big supermarkets um and you can also buy it online which is probably easier so i'll leave a link down below um that you can go and check out and see what they've got so they've got the starter kits which is obviously what i did last week and now i'm just kind of now i've sort of seen what the plan is about i'm just kind of picking the products that i like um so yeah i'll leave a link down below if you want to investigate i myself i'm going to investigate see if i can get some more flavors i just don't fancy a bar basically so i'm going to have another shake which you can do you can have two bars you can have two shakes you can have one bar one shake um but i actually quite fancy this bit of chalky pick me up a little bit it's got green tea in it as well so hopefully it will give me a bit of a boost but so the chocolate um, ready to drink ones are lactose free and also gluten free as well um i like them they do taste quite chocolatey my bugbear with like chocolate flavored things is if they don't taste i've got a chocolate mustache now <laughs> is that if they don't taste chocolatey enough you know that like kind of artificial chocolate flavor and to be fair this is actually pretty good it's not overly sweet it's not like super sweet chocolate it's kind of got like that nice bitterness of a chocolate as well it's not bitter like it's still sweet but do you know what i mean like it's got the bitterness that a real chocolate thing would have so i quite like it i must admit so it is currently what time is it oh my goodness five past ten and i've just finished work it's a very long day um chris has very very kindly cooked dinner once again you are a superstar <laughs> <laughs> um, and we have cheesy fish with Mediterranean vegetables and potatoes, which I'm very much looking forward to tucking into. Today has been a busy day. Um, but once again, it's just been so easy to kind of like slot the slim fast stuff in. And I must admit, I am quite hungry now, but it is 10 p.m. So <laughs> no wonder. Anyway, I'm going to inhale this and I will catch up with you tomorrow. Good morning team, happy Thursday. Um, it's 11 o'clock in the morning and I've just started to get hungry actually, which is early for me. <laughs> Normally I don't tend to get hungry until midday. So I am gonna have one of my Slim Fast bars. I think it's the last one that I've got. I need to investigate those other flavors, definitely. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have one of the yogurty bars. Oh, uh, where have I put them? tidied them away didn't i i'll be honest i don't think that the bars fill me up as much as the shakes do which is weird because you'd think that like chewing something <laughs> would feel more like um what like you know food i guess uh but the shakes the snakes the shakes really fill me up like like properly properly fill me up um, and these do as well but just i find myself getting hungrier um sooner after having a bar than i do after a shake but that's just me i don't know i feel like they've got the same amount of protein no i think the shakes have got a bit more protein in maybe um but they've still all got like the same vitamins and minerals in to make sure you get in all of that jazz so yeah i took into this i might make another cup of tea or coffee <gasps> that'd be nice but yeah i'm gonna investigate the other bars and i'll get back to you because i do like these they do taste good and nice and fresh, you know? I think I'm more of a fruity person than a chocolatey person, says the woman who had two chocolate shakes yesterday. But I just fancied it. Do you know what I mean? Like, if, <laughs> if I'm in the mood for chocolate, I go in with chocolate. But I will always be in the mood for berry. That makes sense. There you go. Just got changed into my favourite pair of dungarees. Like this lovely retro flared pair. Um, I thought, right gonna be all like vintagey put like a retro mustard top underneath my retro denim look like a minion don't i actually look like a minion <sighs> fashion fail <laughs> That's better, isn't it? Um, so I've actually got my hairdresser coming around to have her nails done this afternoon. Um, and it's a, a little bit of an awkward time because this evening I've got a pamper party um, where I'm going over to do three different girls' nails <laughs> this evening. So I haven't actually thought this through, to be honest, because uh, it's about two o'clock now and I'm just, I'm not hungry enough for my shake yet. So I'm gonna have one of the packets of cheddar bites, um, which is one of my snacks for the day. Maybe an apple, have I got time? 
might have time to just wolf down an apple. Um, I really like these cheddar bites. They're not like super cheesy, but they're cheesy enough and I'm a massive cheese fan, so they're a big hit for me. Um, and then I'm gonna have my shake in between my hairdresser appointment and the pamper party. Um, Cause again, I won't be home until, I won't be done until like nine, 9.30 tonight. So Chris is under instructions to make the tea while I'm away. <laughs> I think we've got um, shepherd's pie for dinner, which would be really nice. Either shepherd's pie or something else, I can't remember. Can't quite remember. Um, so yeah, because I'm not eating till really late, I'll have my lunch shake probably at about half past four and then it'll all, it'll all just work out. So yeah, another quiet day for me as I just badger away, creating beautiful nails for people. Uh, and I'll catch up with you a little bit later. I've just got back home and Chris has cooked a shepherd's pie with leeks and courgette I think on the side it looks delicious it smells amazing shepherd's pie is one of my absolute faves so yeah I'm gonna inhale this because I'm absolutely starving <laughs> Um, I'm getting so confused with all this footage now because I'm doing a daily vlog today. I'm doing this what I eat in a week. I'm also going to be filming some nail tutorials and uh, a video on like my filming setup and stuff. So yeah, I've just got like a bazillion different bits of footage on my camera for several different videos and I'm getting very confused. So, <laughs> it is Friday today. It's currently about, what time? Half eleven. And I've just made a raspberry crush shake. Do you know what? I think I might be preferring the vegan ones at the moment. The normal ones are really creamy, but the vegan ones are creamy as well. But they're just, they don't feel, they don't sit as heavy in my tummy personally. So yeah, I think the vegan one, the uh, strawberry and blueberry one may have overtaken raspberry crush as my favorite on the berry side of things nothing else really going on i think we've got a cheesy pasta bake for dinner which will be exciting and i feel like i need to do some exercise today because i haven't done any exercise for three days two three days i think so i've just been so busy so yeah i feel like i need to move my body at some point today um yeah that is a good thing about the slim fast program though is that even though i haven't managed to do my exercise i've still come in at I've still like had a calorie deficit because it just it kind of does it for you but obviously they encourage you to still move I think they say 15 to 20 minutes uh, walk three times a week which is more than doable let's be honest kids we can all do that um, but yeah it's nice to know that on the days where I really struggle to get my exercise in I know I could get up earlier don't at me i'm not a morning person uh <laughs> then at least i'm still gonna be in my calorie deficit and on track i don't know why i pressed record just when i was taking a big bite of this <laughs> but um, i'm just cracking on it's a half past three and i've only just got hungry so i'm having my second meal of the day um one of the yogurt fruit crunch meal bars who'd have thought it i really will try and find the other flavors I just really like these. They're very tart, but also quite sweet as well. So it's quarter to six. I'm done for the day. Chris is home. And to be honest, got to this point, and now I can't be bothered to go to the gym. So I'm jogging around the kitchen while Chris cooks first. <laughs> and then I get exercise, but I don't have to leave the house. So that's really good. Just genuinely can't be bothered to go out in the cold and the rain and go and do this on a treadmill so I'm just doing it around the kitchen. Don't have to have a fancy gym membership to do exercise kids. <laughs> in all seriousness there's loads of really good at home workouts that you can do on YouTube so you really don't have to go to a gym to exercise. Um, if you fancy doing something at home or if you're a little bit embarrassed about going to the gym you can just log on type in at home workout um, there's like yoga classes, there's like circuits. I know Joe Wicks, I think Joe Wicks does some like 
short circuits i've done one of his before and they're quite good they knock you out but they're good um yeah i don't know i just it's really good for you to get your heart rate pumping every now and again and i do really love it but i just can't be able to go to the gym and this is a way to get my heart rate up um and like not have to go outside so seems silly but it's working and i feel like i haven't moved my body for two days so yeah i'm gonna do 20 minutes jogging around the flat <laughs> and then i'm gonna do some stretching cheesy pasta bake get in my belly hey guys happy saturday so we are off to london today and i'm very very excited just packing all the stuff up and i'm going to take toby to the dog sitter um and i'm just packing my bag with everything that i need food wise so i'm taking three of the ready to go shakes because they're really really handy they're just the perfect size to go in your handbag and i've got two of the berry ones and one of the chocolate ones i've also got a meal bar Da, da, da. and i'm taking three snacks with me um the the new wafer things which are really nice um each square of these is one snack and there's two in one packet so that's pretty handy to just shove in your bag um, and they're both individually wrapped as well so you don't have to worry about them going stale or anything um and then uh, some of the pretzels as well so i'm just gonna pop these in my handbag um and we're good to go in fact i could pop some of them in the suitcase couldn't i only only need two on me um but we're going to be eating out and stuff and we might be having snacks here and there um and a couple of drinky poos so that is going to be enough that i need to take with me for uh today and half of tomorrow it's also really handy as well because london is very expensive and if you're eating out for every meal <laughs> it's gonna rack up some serious money so it's quite nice knowing that it's just all there we don't have to stop and think about like where we're going to eat and stuff we can just whack it down and um carry on going and i've even packed some for chris because he's been drinking some of the milkshakes as well um so it's just really easy you just don't have to worry about anything you just uh you're good to go but we're definitely going to stop for dinner somewhere tonight i'm thinking maybe pizza express because i just i've been craving pizza <laughs> and i love pizza express and also when i normally go there I tend to have their legera options anyway which are the lower calorie options uh, i just prefer having that and then you can also have um i like i like the the low-fat buffalo mozzarella that they do for uh, a starter and then maybe like a little teeny tiny dessert which comes with a coffee so yeah there's going to be loads of lower calorie options on the menu if i so choose but we're also going to be doing loads of walking as well so i'm not too stressed um about that i'm not really th like overly thinking about it you know because i've got my plan stuff in my handbag it all fits in there um and we're ready to go let's go to london so we have made it to london and the sun is shining um we kind of want to go out and explore do a little bit of shopping and stuff before we have to come back and get ready for the theater this evening so i'm going to grab one of my slim fast bars i'm going to have the yogurt fruit crunch one um and just eat it as we're walking around to be honest because i can't be bothered to go and sit down and find somewhere to eat and it's also what time is that half two so we'll need to have an early dinner anyway so yeah just kind of works out really well really so let's go and explore some of london town hello everyone uh, so we're back in the room getting ready for our evening meal um but i bought a dress in h&m today it's this one and i bought it in a size 10 i haven't been a size 10 <laughs> for about a year maybe two years um which is crazy i know labels on everything sizes on everything um and it really doesn't bother me what size i buy but it just it just took me back a little bit that i just automatically picked up a 12 and a 14 to see which one would fit 14 was massive the 12 was um really big as well so i was like can you go and grab me a 10 <laughs> and it fits perfectly i'm absolutely in love with it obviously it's a it's a loose fitting dress um but the size in h&m i find normally i have to go like even bigger so i'm just i'm very impressed anyway so we're gonna head out now i'm gonna take you with me and film what i'm eating and stuff and but i probably won't chat to you because we're officially clocking off it's date night we're gonna go watch search the lay very excited Good morning, Slimfast crew. Um, so it's Sunday today and we're just packing up our stuff to leave the hotel. Uh, I had a lovely night last night at Cirque du Soleil. Oh my God, it was absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, just really, really enjoyed ourselves. We had a box and the show was stunning and oh yeah, it was just the best. 
So I actually use a program called MyFitnessPal, it's just a free app, uh, to log my calories instead of writing them down in a book just to keep track of what I've had and all the SlimFast stuff is on there. So you just type in like SlimFast chocolate on the go shake or whatever and it'll come up and it'll log it in just to keep you on track really so you know how many of your three, two, one steps you've done. Um, and it also will sync to fitness apps as well. So obviously I've got my Fitbit on and it will link to that and take off any exercise that you've done, etc. So in the end, we went to Pizza Express. I had um, a massive, big, fat ball of mozzarella cheese with pesto and tomatoes, which I love. And then I had one of their Legera pizzas. I think I had like the spicy chicken one, which was really good. Um, which are the lower calorie options, to be fair. They're 600 calories or less on the menu. Um, but that's what I normally go for anyway, because I just can't hack the big pizza and I didn't really want to carry a box of leftover pizza into the Royal Albert Hall. So uh, that's what I had. I always had a glass of red wine. Um, and then when we went to the theatre, I had a glass of champagne and also another glass of red wine. Uh, and even with all of that, I still came out with eight calories left for the day. I was still in a calorie deficit because we did loads of walking. So that's a really great tip. Skip the Ubers, just do the walk, um, and it gets your heart rate up, you know? It gets you out in the fresh air as well, and it could help you stay within a calorie deficit. So yeah, I'm not saying like go out and drink the entire bar dry and then just go for a run and everything will be fine. <laughs> Obviously, stay healthy, kids. Um, but yeah, I actually still worked out in a calorie deficit yesterday, which is amazing. So we are heading out. I've got my chocolate shake for this morning. Um, might also go and grab a coffee from somewhere just to perk us up a little bit. The sun is shining again um, and I'm going to go and get my ear pierced. Very exciting. So I kind of figured I definitely needed um, one of my shakes or some calories in me because I don't want to go and pass out. <laughs> Uh, and then we're gonna head home a little bit later on today. So yeah, really lovely night last night and looking forward to just having a little wander around London this morning. Got my new piercing, looks fab. It's very sore. Um, so we just got back, it is about half a six and we don't have anything in the house for tea. So we just popped to Tesco and got one of the dine-in for 10 pound thinking with jigs because we really like them, they're super easy. Um, so what did we get? We got chicken and ham hock mustard pie with um, some cabbage and pancetta, which actually comes in at 600 calories. So that's bang on plan for the evening meal. I didn't actually eat any of my snacks though today. So that means I've got 300 calories of snacks if I choose to eat them. Um, so because with the deal you get a pudding, uh, we chose, what did we choose? Apple and blackberry flapjack crumble. Um, and a little bit of custard. So um, that comes to about 350 calories. So I'm going to use my snack allowance uh, to have some pudding after tea. So yeah, that is me done. I am so tired. We've done a lot of walking today as well. Um, so I'm gonna get into my PJs and eat my dinner. Getting the hang of it. Thank you. Good morning SlimFast team. Um, so we need to round off this vlog. It's been another one done already, which is amazing. It's so, so strange. I can't believe how quickly this month is going. Um, but look what just turned up at my door. Chocolate crunch, meal replacement bars, and also nutty salted caramel meal replacement bars, and zesty lemon baked cookies. They're one of the snacks, which I didn't realize were a thing. And also, I completely forgot, because I had one of these in my bag at the weekend, I forgot to eat it in the end, but they've got wafer bars as well, which I haven't told you about just yet. So, come back next week <laughs> for the final installation of our Slim Fast What I Eat in a Week, and I will try out all these new goodies and let you know um, what they're like, because they've literally just turned up today, so perfect for the new week. Um, but you can buy them on Amazon. So easy to get all this stuff. You can also get it in the supermarkets and stuff. Um, but if you're a little bit lazy like me <laughs> and you enjoy online shopping, um, I'll leave a link down below. So make sure you go and click on that and check out all the, the range that they've got. Um, so many of you have been messaging me and saying that you have taken on the I Can Jan challenge or like bought one of the seven day starter kits and stuff. Um, which is awesome. Thank you for letting me know that. Uh, I'm really happy <laughs> again it's, it's gonna be the same as like last week's um final thoughts i feel although i have officially lost six pounds 
That's one pound of half a stone. And I've still got like a week and a half to go, which is just amazing. It's just, it, I'm finding it so, so easy. And especially this weekend when we went away to London, um, Chris and I are terrible. <laughs> whenever we go away and we always tend to like get caught up in the moment and get caught up in like sightseeing or the giddiness of where we're going and then completely forget to eat and then you panic and you're like right we've just got to get something because we're now both quite hangry um so <laughs> you end up like going somewhere that's not really healthy for you that costs a bloody fortune and doesn't really satisfy you in any way um and that's pretty much exactly what we do every time we go somewhere so it was just really nice so i'm going to get my cup of tea oh well, my seat has been stolen look at that <laughs> so it was just actually really nice to go knowing that I've got all the stuff in my bag like you know and you don't have to panic and if you get hungry you just whip out one of your meal bars and you're done um so yeah that was super handy especially for the train and we're not really like I said we're not really breakfast people so again we didn't have breakfast in the hotel it was just popped my little shakes in the mini bar <laughs> so they were nice and cold in the morning um and just had those on the go on the way to my piercing which is very sore this morning I was sleeping on it last night which you're not supposed to do but this is the side that I tend to sleep on I think so yeah it's looking a bit looking a bit red and bruised but I bruise like a peach anyway so um that is my third week i think so i'm gonna be filming this week and then i'm gonna check in because it's like we, we've got weird weird posting dates um so i'll just check in and do my final weigh-in and my little before and after shot um in the next vlog so if you're not subscribed already click that subscribe button it'd be lovely to have you um and yeah i'll see you next week for our final installment <laughs> that gym session was hard so i went on the cross trainer and did